Give me a pig, what do you get for it? Give me a pig, what do you get for it? I'm Sean the Shepherd. Today we're doing piglin bartering, and this is Adventures in Minecrafting. Oh, welcome back everybody. I am down here in the mine below our base to get a critical element. Here we go. A critical element in what we are going to build today, and that is one ordinary cobweb. Now, let me head up to the gold farm and I'll show you what we're going to do. Oh, 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 we have, we have an admirer. Oh, hello. Did, did you bring me, did you bring me a flat? Did you, did, did you bring me? I, I guess maybe it's, maybe it's not for me. It might not, might not be for me. Anyway, uh, we moved the portal back. I just, I thought it looked nicer back here. I didn't like it in the middle of the room. It fit real nice into this niche that was created here for the top floor. And so I stuck it right here and it linked up just fine. Bye. So we're, here we are on the roof of the nether and you'll notice we've got a way down. That's the one thing when we broke the portal in a previous episode uh, down below so that we could put a portal on the roof of the nether to get us up here to our gold farm and our hogland farm, we lost a way to get down. And so what I want to do now before I head out to the gold farm is I'm going to show you the video uncut, unedited of how I did this. It took me three tries and I want you to see just how simple it is to break bedrock. The plan for today is to build a piglin bartering farm and I thought it would be fun to build it up here on the nether roof and build it in such a way that all the gold that we collect from up here just gets shot right down into the piglin farm and traded with the piglins. Alright, so I've set everything up here. What I did is I added an extra line here. I moved the chest out by, by one and I put in uh, just an additional line. Here's where everything comes down from the mine carts. And as it goes out here, I put in a filter. And what this will do, it's just a simple item filter. Um, and this will filter out all of the gold ingots that come through here. Now, now remember, we, uh, we have to craft a lot of those from gold nuggets, but we do get quite a bit of gold ingots that come through. And what I wanna do is those gold ingots are gonna go through this filter and uh, this little guy right here is going to put him in this hopper. I'm sorry, dropper. And what the dropper is going to do is whenever there are items in this dropper, in fact, here, let's do this. Oh, uh, let's put 11 hoppers in. And you notice this little unit right here sends them, sends a signal to the block beside the dropper and it sends them down. And if we go down one more, you'll see they're coming out very slowly through, here it is, the cobweb. Now why are we using the cobweb? Because the cobweb will guarantee that all the items that pass through it drop in exactly the same spot. So let's head down there and let me show you what we've got. Okay, so here we are at the bottom and you'll notice 
There are no items sitting down here. In fact, I've placed a hopper here at the bottom, and if we are correct, both my test items that I ran a minute ago, which were uh, 19 redstone, there should be 19 redstone and 11 hoppers in here, and look at that. So, the next step is to actually build a structure here to keep the piglins in. And to do that, we're gonna need to go down into the nether. That's why that we dug the hole. So I can go down there and start collecting materials. Seems like if we're gonna build a piglin bartering system, a little structure here, then uh, we need to use some of the new 1.16 nether materials. So with that in mind, I'll be right back. my adoring fan is hanging out in the bedroom. We're just going to have to name you and you know there's only one name for you. So when you put all of those pieces together you end up with something that looks something like this. These new blocks are definitely interesting. I'm looking forward to using them uh, in the overworld. They're very dark and the, uh, well, it is called, you know, Blackstone after all. I really like the basalt. I think of all of them, the, the basalt and the various textures are some of the most interesting. I like that, I like that deep blue and gray together. Um, and surprisingly, the, the purple isn't bad. Um, the, I'm sorry, the crimson, that's not crimson, that's like mauve. But anyway, we've got a structure now, uh, right here at the base of our gold farm. We've got a structure for three little piggies to live in. Now, we're going to get those piggies in just a minute, but before we get them in here, uh, we need to set up some redstone. I've got part of it. This is the dropper that's going to shoot out the gold ingot. All those gold ingots that fall down into this hopper, they're going to get taken around back and shot out of this little guy, and the piglin's going to take it drop his trades, those trades are gonna fall into that hopper, which comes around to this chest. Now, eventually we can set up a bigger organized storage system, but just for right now, this should be plenty. Uh, we need to get the piglins in there, we'll do that in a minute. But right now what I wanna do is set up the redstone to make this happen. I really like those little, those little chiseled pig blocks too. Uh, okay, so let's do that and I will be right back. Well, the redstone is all hooked up. You notice I planted a couple trees. Uh, actually, this one's uh, this one I made, uh, but I just planted that one uh, by putting a nylium down here, planted the tree, and then popped out the nylium and added another stalk there to the uh, to the bottom of the tree. But let's talk about redstone. I have to say I am pretty proud of what I've put together here. It's real simple but it works like a charm. And you're gonna see in a minute why we just have three cells here. Uh, because this thing works like a charm. Okay, now let me show you how it divides it up. So this hopper minecart will take whatever gold is dropped and it'll pull it when we turn it on. There's an on-off switch right there. It'll follow this track around 
In fact, let's get up on the track. I can show you a little bit better how it works. Okay, so it will follow this track around. And as it goes over each of these hoppers that are leading into the droppers, it's going to drop one item. So it's going to dispense everything uh, perfectly, evenly. Then it's going to come around here and we've put down a detector rail. And that detector rail is going to shoot a redstone signal down to this block, which then fires each of the hoppers every time that the hopper minecart goes around. Now, why is that important? Well, the piglins, when they barter, uh, they take about six seconds to look at your piece of gold before they throw you something. And so what you're going to see is you're going to see a lot of people devising systems where every time they get a piece of gold, there's a delay in the back and then they get another piece of gold. Or you're going to see some systems where they, they hook up a timer or a clock so that every six seconds. Well, guess what? This cart, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. Did you see it? This cart takes exactly six seconds to go around, which means every six seconds that detector rail in the back gets hit, and every six seconds a piece of gold will pop out here. Now, here's the even cooler part. I have, okay, I have 63 cracked polished black stone bricks. That's a mouthful. Now I'm going to send this cart around. Right now the cart has nothing in it. There's nothing in the hopper above it. I'm going to send this cart around and I'm going to toss these 63 items into this hopper. I want you to notice what happens when the hopper comes back. It's down to 54. The hopper will always take out in multiples of three, down to 45. And then it will deposit them one at a time into those droppers. 36. And it'll go all the way down until we get to the very bottom. And this is going to take a while now for it to go around and spread these because, again, it only drops one in each time. But notice, there's four in there, four in there, four in there, five in there, five in there, five in there. Now, let's have a little bit of fun. Let's put the the glass up one higher like we would have it when the piglins are in their little apartments. And if I go back here and put down this piece of redstone dust, now every time, do you see it? Do you see him go on? Every time that hopper minecart goes by, it's going to shoot out. Let's watch it from this end. There they are. Six seconds later, there they go. And notice they're all being picked up by the hoppers and they're all being fed down into this chest again in multiples of three now we're not going to do that with cracked polished blackstone bricks we're going to do that with gold but the next step is to get some piglins in there now in order to do that i'm going to need to get my polished cracked blackstone bricks back and we're going to set up there we go. We're going to set up over here at the Crimson Forest, which is where the piglins spawn. Uh, we are going to set up a platform and encourage them. Let's see. Well, let's do it in the dark and encourage them to spawn. And then we're going to have them follow us over. Let's make sure we are in. Nope, we're still in the nether wastes. Uh, we want to be... We want to be, there we go, Crimson Forest. Okay. Had to scale up real high to get our, get the mobs to spawn. And it looks like we've got a pigman, but there's a whole bunch of hoglins after him. <laughs> so let's see if I can take out these hoglins and uh, see if we can, see if our piglin will survive. Yes, we've got some piglins. We've got one here. Got this little guy chasing me. Let's get rid of him. I usually run away once you kill him. Hi, buddy. Okay. Do you like gold? Will you follow me? Will you follow me if I have gold? Oh, you will. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on, buddy. I wonder if we need boats. Can you not make a boat? You can't make a boat with crimson wood. Ah! Oh. 
one in. Before we forget, we need to name tag this guy. Because if we don't name tag this guy, he will despawn. Despawn? What is despawn? Despawn. Okay, let's go find ourselves another piggy. Two little piggies. Gold? That's gold. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that works. Here we go. Yep, chase me. Chase me all the way. This. Right there. Yep. And in. In you go. And now we have. One little piggy, two little piggies, three little piggies. Okay, all we have left to do is test the system. We're putting in 44 gold ingots. We're starting her up. And let's see how it goes. There they go. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. And they throw stuff. Oh, we'll have to fix that. Boom. And boom. Nice. Hey, <laughs> look at him go. Trade and trade and trade and trade. And what did we get? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. This is such an overpowered farm. We are all set. Well, that's going to do it for us today. Uh, that's about all the time we have for this episode. But if you enjoyed it, please follow the example of our adoring fan. Like and subscribe.